Hi, it's Lavon. Welcome back to my channel and to Step by Step. This week we're working on a dining table in our first step of the, uh, the process of refinishing this beautiful table. So here it is. Uh, it's just gorgeous. It doesn't look like much right here, but I can see where we're going with this, especially if you've seen the matching china closet. So always I advise first step is to clean it with white lightning cleaner and inspect the piece. So I see that there's a little bit of lifted veneer there. So what I do is put some wood glue in it and then let that sit. I put um, a cutting board on top of it and I also put a heavy vase on it and I let it sit overnight. On some more inspection, I see that I have a loose brace underneath. It's actually just a decorative little corbel. So I used wood glue again and I taped it up very firmly to get that to stay in place. So um, the next thing I did was use Howdy Do Hemp Seed Oil and treated the surface. I It was very dry and I just wanted to give it some nourishment and see what it looked like after that. So it looks so pretty and shiny when the oil is wet and of course you can still see that there are some imperfections in there. They were mainly like water rings when people set a glass down or something. Um, so that's kind of what it, it looked like to me. So I may have gone a little backwards in my thinking which isn't the first time that's ever happened. Um, but just to show you what it looked like after the, the oil dried. The reason I say I may have gone a little backwards is because I decided to stain it first and then um, see if those spots didn't go away, then I would deal with them. So um, may, may not have been the best move, but I am very confident that this tabletop I won't rest until this tabletop is just beautiful because I know it doesn't have a lot of imperfections. They're really just surface. So um, I'm not at all worried because I'm using all oil-based products on this top. So they're all compatible. So we can kind of go back to the next one and, and redo. So I'm um, just going to continue putting some stain on that. And I kind of went to those areas first that were um, a little lighter because I wanted to see if the stain would take in those areas before I blended it all in. So I continued to stain and I'm actually using the older formula of no pain gel stain um, in the oil. Um, so that's what it looked like when it was finished. Not bad, um, but that was still wet. So then I realized I'm missing a couple of those little supports on there. So I had to just go around the whole table and see. So I actually ended up, so there was a side where we had it on one side and not the other. So basically it was the long sides that were missing and we just had an extra one. So I was able to remove that and also then just replace it on the long end that left a mark which we're going to take care of and I had an extra decorative piece you know me I'll find something to do with that so uh, I took the extra little brace and I'm peeking at you there because I I was able to put that in the corner so then I sort of did the wiggle test and <laughs> pulled another one out that I was able to uh, secure again with wood glue and the tape so just, you know, takes a while to make sure everything is looking good. So there's a crack that I noticed in the, uh, in the legs. So then I, I keep going back and forth to the top, but those are the surf prep sanding sponges. So I got those when I was away at conference and I started looking at them and each one tells you what it's supposed to do. So rather than uh, going the opposite way in intensity, I decided I would start with fine. And um, I just didn't want to mess with the surface of the top very much. So again, confident that uh, 
that things will be okay. Do a little and then come back and look. So I gave that the wiggle test and we're good. Our, our supports are good or our decorative pieces. And then I came back in with Dixie Bell mud and I just used my finger and filled in those areas that, that have cracks in them. I'm not concerned structurally that this is a crack. It's just they joined the wood there. Um, and over the years, it's just um, showing where it was joined. So uh, again, I'm not concerned and I'm just taking some of that Dixie Bell mud and just using my finger and just filling in that little crack. I just want it to look nice and smooth. And a word of caution, um, you probably shouldn't do that with your bare fingers, but it's just, you know, those are the kinds of things I do because they're the best tools. Uh, but wipe your fingers off before you rinse them. You never want to rinse this down your sink because it does harden and you don't want it hardening in your drain. So just anywhere I found a crack, I just wanted to fill it a little bit. And then I came around and then I used a medium grit paper because the medium says it removes. So unlike the surface of the tabletop, I wasn't worrying about what it looks like because I know I'm going to paint over this and I definitely wanted to remove the glue residue from where the old uh, decorative piece was. So looking at the tabletop, don't like those splotches, <laughs> come back in with the medium uh, sandpaper now because I want to get rid of that um, so before I and then after that I did a coat with the fine so because um, that fine on the package that it prepares so I'm liking the surface a little bit better and I came back in and gave it a stain again and looking pretty good but I'm gonna let it sit and the next step I'm gonna paint with driftwood on the bottom of the table so that it matches the china closet that I had uh, previously done. So I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you comment and share the video and please subscribe to my channel. Visit LaVintageDecor.company and also on Instagram we're at LaVintageDecor and on Facebook LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well.